Hi everyone, my name is Karis and welcome back to my corner of the internet where I talk about books and other things that I enjoy. So in today's video I'm announcing a readathon that I'm hosting and that readathon is going to be the Jacqueline Wilson readathon, otherwise known as the Jacqueline Wilsathon. Jacqueline Wilson was my absolute entire childhood. I've made a couple of videos here on my channel already about her, so I will leave links to them in the description. But basically, I was having a conversation with some of my wonderful booktube friends about how much we all loved Jacqueline Wilson and how much she meant to us all as a child. And we suddenly realized that a lot of us had been planning on rereading some more Jacqueline Wilson books in the near future. So we just decided, why not make this a thing and host a readathon? So the booktubers that are going to be hosting this along with me are Anna from Read To Me At Midnight, Charlotte from Coiny Reads, Leanne from Leanne Rose, Shah from Thoroughly Enjoyed Books and Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots. And we're all just so buzzing for this, honestly. Before I get any further with the dates and the prompts for this readathon, I just wanted to uh, point out that I'm wearing my headband that has my name on it. Please tell me that other people had these when they were in primary school. If I'm ever gonna wear this again, now is the time. So moving on to the details of the actual readathon, when we were deciding the date for when the first round would take place, we sort of decided that we wanted it to have the vibe and the nostalgic feel of February half term. So it's going to be taking place from Saturday the 13th through to Saturday the 20th of February. We have created a bingo board with nine prompts, some bookish and some other, but if you don't want to do the prompts or if you just want to do a few of them, that's completely fine. Literally reading one Jacqueline Wilson book is enough to say that you've completed this readathon, but we just thought it would be really fun to have some prompts. So Shah made us this bingo board that I'm gonna put on screen now and I'm gonna talk through them all. If you want to double up, triple up, quadruple up, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but basically you can use one book for as many challenges as you can fit it into, that is completely fine. So the first prompt is to watch an adaptation. So this could be any adaptation of a Jacqueline Wilson book. For me, I'm definitely gonna be watching the story of Tracy Beaker. First of all, it's iconic. Also, the episodes are like 15 minutes long, so they're super easy to get through. There's also the Tracy Beaker movies. There's a film for Dustbin Baby. There's a Hetty Feather TV series on the BBC at the moment. Basically, there's loads of different adaptations, so any one of them that you want to watch, you don't have to have read that book during the readathon that will complete the first prompt. The second prompt is to create a doodle inspired by the book and you can interpret this in any way that you want. I know Aoife has said that she's gonna be doing some colouring in from a colouring book that she already has. I might attempt to do a Tracy Beaker or just Jacqueline Wilson in general inspired embroidery project. We just thought this would be really fun because it's just something a bit creative and I feel like it's the sort of thing that we all used to do when we were little but maybe we don't really dedicate time to anymore. So it's just that nostalgic element again going back to our childhoods and if you do something for this prompt then please feel free to share it we're going to be using the hashtag wilsathon on twitter so feel free to share anything there the third prompt is a book for older readers so any one of Jacqueline's books for older readers, Love Lessons, Kiss, The Girl series, anything you want. The next prompt is to eat a snack from your childhood, again with the nostalgic vibes. The next is to reread your favourite Jacqueline Wilson book. Obviously if you didn't read Jacqueline Wilson when you were younger then pick a random one for this or maybe one that someone else has said is their favourite. But if you did read Jacqueline Wilson as a kid or at any point in your life then your favourite one. Next is a book you haven't read yet. Then a book for younger readers. Read in bed or a bedtime story so again I feel like this is something we all used to do or at least I definitely used to do when I was younger and I've got really bad at as time has gone on and then the final prompt is to read a book that has your favourite colour on the cover. So that's it. Those are all of the prompts for the readathon. I haven't sorted out my TBR yet because I'm unorganised. But if you go and check out some of my fellow host videos, I know some of them have. So if you want a feel for what people are going to be reading, I definitely recommend you go and do that. On the host channels over the week, there'll be a variety of Jacqueline Wilson themed content, including a video where we talk about each of our favourite of Jacqueline's books. A few of us will also be vlogging the week, which I'm so 
excited about and we are planning on doing a live show but we haven't got the dates ready for that yet so keep an eye out on our twitters and on that hashtag i mentioned to find out when that's gonna be that is everything that i have to talk about in today's video i'm so excited as i mentioned this is round one so we have ideas and we have scope for future rounds depending on how well this one goes down i guess so if you're interested in taking part if you're planning on taking part please let me know in the comments and let me know what your favorite jacqueline wilson book is other than that though that is it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all keeping safe and staying well and i will see you again next time bye